Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. So I'm going to do Selena and Niall Horan. Um, people have been asking about Selena, how she's doing. I kind of included her in the last reading with um, Justin and Haley. I feel she's doing great. I, I really get that she's thriving and having fun. I don't know if she's working, but I just feel like she is having a good time now. Um, people are seeing her out on, um, and again, I don't watch, so I don't know what exactly she's doing out there, but people are leaving messages saying, oh, she's with this guy today, and, you know, she's out with another person. Um, I feel like she's, okay, um, again, I don't know her, but I get this vibe that um, she, anybody that she dates, I feel she leaves in a good place for the most part. So she can date somebody and then be friends with him, them yet and then hang out with them. Like it's never really left um, with, with a lot of hurt feelings. I think mostly because the relationships that she has been in um, have been really not that deep except for Justin. So even with Justin, I feel that if he reached out to her or she reached out to him, they would be happy for each other. They talk to each other. It's like, you know how some exes, um, when they break up with someone, it's like, like you're dead to me. Some people just don't want to talk to an ex again, regardless of it, if it ended or well. Selena, Selena is not like that. I feel she welcomes everyone into her life and she, that whether they're an ex or a friend, um, I feel that her as a person always thinks that there's something someone can offer, um, even if it's not boyfriend, girlfriend relationship, it's friendship. So uh, his name is Niall, Niall, Neil? Maybe it's just Neil, but it's spelled differently. Um, I feel that these two, again, she's just having fun with this guy, reconnecting, enjoying friendships. I don't feel like this is going to go anywhere. It's like a lot of these guys that she dates ends up being friends. So she can call him up and say, hey, let's go for lunch or, you know, let's go to a movie together. And then people's eyes, ears like perk up like, oh, there's something going on here. So um, I don't think that's the case here you know, that there's something going on. I really feel that they just kind of like spending, she likes spending time with anyone and everyone. She's growing, she's learning, she's wanting to um, just have people in her life. So she doesn't close herself off um, necessarily to anyone. She's a, I, I feel she's happy. She's a happy, thriving, open young lady that, that, can put the, her differences aside. So I feel with Nail, she's doing just that. Hey, we haven't talked in years or months. You know, I feel like she she kind of does stay connected somewhat to, to all these guys that she's dated in the past. And um, so is there anything going on between these two? I don't feel like it is. I feel she just likes his company. She's familiar to him. He's familiar to her. And it's just having fun. All right, getting just just having fun, dating. Um, not I don't even want, I don't want to say the word dating because not dating, just going out and having fun. All right, calling up the random people that's in her life. Now I don't know if she's going if she's seen with this guy one on one, but I I I, I tend to feel like I feel that it's typically like like group activities. So no one's ever excluded. No one's ever you know like. Um, pushed out of anything you know I, I really feel that most of these people that she has relationships with are great so it's just reconnecting with somebody and um, uh, catching up all right that's kind of what I get from them sorry I just woke up from a nap like uh, must look like it hey <laughs> so I, I got bags under my eyes all right so I'm gonna try and fix this so I do not have bags under my eyes Okay, maybe, no, I don't like that. Okay, all right. <laughs> I should have had that. I just, as I can see myself talking, and then it's just like, oh my God, I look like death today. Okay, so um, I don't feel there's anything going on between her and Neil. 
okay? I feel it's just friendship, them catching up, and, um, and just enjoying each other's company, okay? All right. So I'll take my cards out. I'll see what the cards say. Yes, I could have had these ready. Selena and Neil. Selena and Neil. Neil. Selena and Neil. So what I do is I typically I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. Um, more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck. All right. All right. So what does Neil feel for Selena? All right. What does Neil feel for Selena? Does Neil? Oh. She's not, she doesn't want to settle down right now. She's not really interested in uh, commitment at this point with anyone. All right, so what does Neil feel for Selena? So here we have the Four of Wands, which talks about celebrations, family, friends. This is about a stable friendship. Fours talk about stability. And you can see here, there's man and woman. Okay, there's a child as well, but this is just about a stable happy friendship. I don't know if they've gone to a wedding together or if they're celebrating things together, like maybe another friend's birth date, but this does talk about celebrations, but it really, uh, bottom line, this is about a, um, a really nice friendship, solid friendship. All right, then we have the three of pentacles. Now the three of pentacles um, talks about, it's a teamwork of some sort. It's about working together. I don't know if he's a singer, Let's see what other messages, like what Three of Pentacles mean. Um, it's about projects. Like, what does he do for a living? Yeah, Horan. Is he an actor? Irish singer and songwriter. He rose to prominence as a member as a member of the English Irish band One Direction. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I mean, they could be working together. All right. This is about working. Okay. And then we have the Queen of Swords. How does he feel about her? He feels that you know. Um. But he feels that she's telling the truth. She tell. She's a truth teller. All right. She's real. This woman tells the truth. The Queen of Swords is, she's self-sufficient, she's um, logical, and she's a truth-telling woman. So I feel that she's she's um, honest. She, he, you see, like, you, you get what you've got with Selena. Like, there's no, uh, like, falseness about her. She's real. All right. I like One Direction, you know, that's, I, I, I didn't know he was with One Direction. All right, what does Selena feel for Neil? Niall, Niall, Niall? What does Selena feel for Niall? What does Selena feel for Niall?
office in a field for a while. And the message is regarding what Selena feels for Nile. What's his birth date? Born September 13th. So she he would be a Virgo, I suspect. Okay. What does she feel for them? For him, there is the magician card. And this is um it's this card is about turning your visions into reality. So whatever she wants with this guy, she can get. So this is whatever her intentions are. If she just wants to be his friend, she has the tools. All right, so you can see here, there's the four tools. There's the cup, the wand, the sword, and the pentacle. So um, if she wants to have something more than friendship with him, she can. All right, I think she's in control of this relationship. So, but this card is saying that she is the magician and she can have what she wants with this man. Okay, and then here we have the um, star card. And this is about some sort of a renewal. And it is about inner clarity about something. So it could be a renewal of a friendship between the two of them. She wants to renew something, perhaps, with this guy. And she can do it. I don't feel it's um, uh, romantic. Okay. And then we have the King of Wands. And so um, the King of Wands is someone who's got power and charm. So what does she feel for him? Even though he is not a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo man, she does feel he's, he's got charm and charisma and um, uh, courage and can be a bold leader. He's a man. You know, he's a manly man, I feel. You know, uh, or again, I'm going back to Justin, and Justin really, you know, he's, he's, not, he's not a man. You know, and I'm, I'm sorry to say that. I think that Justin is, he's a person. And we should all treat him with, you know, respect and love. Um, but there are certain facts about certain people and that, that Justin is not a man. All right? He's a boy and trying to be a man. Okay? All right. Now, what are the energies between Niall and Selena? What are the energies between Niall and Selena? Selena. What are the energies between Nile and Selena? All right, so what are the energies between Nile and Selena? There's the lover's card. Now, this card does talk about about um, partnerships, deep, lo deep love. It's a balance of people together, two people together. It doesn't necessarily mean lovers. It can just be a nice partnership. Okay. And just a nice balance that they have in the relationship. I truly don't believe, I don't feel that this is romantic. There's the King of Wands again. All right. So the King of Wands, we talk about, um, there's some charm here. Let's just see what the message is rather than the people. King, 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 king. Uh, honor, freedom, openness, inspiration. So, um, apply to a situation, a light bulb moment offers a way to creative and financial freedom. That's what it says. But this, I believe that there is a lot of openness, um, freedom between the two of them, inspiration perhaps. All right. And then we have the king of swords. That's the next energy between the two of them. And the King of Swords talks about ambition, decisions, order, justice. It speaks about, um, it's about a strategic, um, about being strate strategic about something. Okay, when applied to a situation, the card stands for mind power, decisions, and justice. Justice. Um, and almost an intense work phase is almost done. Are these two working together? Because, like, maybe they're trying to 
figure something about when it comes figure something out when it comes to um making doing a song together recording something together because that's more that's it's come up more than once so regarding working together I didn't realize he was seeing I had no idea who he was I thought maybe he was an actor or something like that so all right everyone there you go if you're looking for a private reading please email me I will get back to you within 24 hours and um uh what else? I would do I do energy reading and a tarot spread. I appreciate everybody for watching. I hope you guys like this reading. I personally don't feel that there's anything going on between these two. I just really feel like it's just two people connecting and enjoying each other's company. So, all right, everyone. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.